This video will demonstrate how easy it is to seamlessly and securely extend your data center into the public cloud using Nexus 1000V InterCloud. In the demo setup, an organization has a two-tier web application running in an enterprise data center. Using Nexus 1000V InterCloud, the network is extended to Amazon. The web server is migrated to Amazon while the client remains in the enterprise. The client continues to access the web server in the public cloud without any reconfiguration. The Cisco Prime Network Services Controller provides a single point of management for Nexus 1000V InterCloud. The first step is to create a provider account using the access credentials for the provider. After the provider is successfully registered, a VPC is created by navigating to VPCs and clicking on Extend Network to Cloud. This will open up the Create VPC dialog box where we name the VPC, select a provider, and a region and a VSM to provide switching for the virtual machines within the provider cloud. The next step is to configure an intercloud link which comprises of the intercloud extender and the intercloud switch. We enable HA high availability for the intercloud switch and extender. We select one of the previously uploaded infrastructure images for the intercloud extender, select a host from the local vCenter, select a similar host for the secondary, and then enter the access credentials for this virtual machine. The next step is to configure port groups or port profiles from the enterprise VSM or vSwitch. The intercloud extender is then configured with IP addresses. The intercloud switch is the next virtual machine to be deployed and this is deployed in AWS. After entering the security credentials, we configure a port profile from the intercloud VSM for the management of the intercloud switch. IP addresses are configured, and then we move on to configuring the tunnel profile properties, which define the encryption algorithms used for the tunnel between the intercloud extender and the switch, as well as intercloud switch to the cloud VMs. We can modify the, the strength of the encryption, as well as the hashing algorithm used. Once we have completed this, the deploy checkbox is checked. When you click finish, the intercloud link and a VPC will be created. We can see here that the intercloud link is deployed successfully and the intercloud switch and the intercloud extender are now running successfully in a HA configuration, one on the enterprise and one in AWS. The tunnel profile used is the default tunnel profile. Now that we have set up this intercloud link, let's look at the switching component to see how this reflects in the VSM. Show module will show the intercloud extender and the intercloud switch registered as service modules in the intercloud VSM. In addition, the port profiles for managing the cloud virtual machines and the intercloud switch are all configured on this VSM. The, the port profile ICS management is used to manage the intercloud switch. The important configuration here is the VLAN and the system VLAN configuration. The port profile cloud VM55 is used to manage the virtual machine that's going to be migrated to the cloud. Let's look at these virtual machines in vCenter. Web VM2 is using port profile access 55 on the enterprise VSM, which is on VLAN 55. In addition, the IP address configured on this is 192.168.1.5. We will see that the test VM will connect to this IP address in order to access a web page. This web page is successfully displayed while the web server is in the enterprise. To migrate the web server into the public cloud, 
we navigate to the Enterprise tab in the Cisco Prime Network Services Controller, select the virtual machine and click on Migrate VM to Cloud. We select the InterCloud link, accept the default properties for the virtual machine, and configure it with a port profile from the InterCloud VSM. We will choose Cloud VM55 so that this virtual machine will remain on VLAN 55. We do not delete this virtual machine from vCenter and continue with the migration. This migration will show in progress while the Prime Network Controller copies the image and starts it in, a in AWS. Once that is completed, the virtual machine will show up under the Public Cloud tab and you can see the public IP for it will match the public IP within the AWS EC2 console. If we look at the VSM again, Show Interface Virtual will show a vEthernet interface has been created for WebVM2. Show Interface VETH5 shows us the port profile that this interface is tied to is Cloud VM55. As a final step, we will verify that the client virtual machine in the enterprise can still access the web server in the public cloud by refreshing the web page from the browser window. Here we have seen how simple and secure it is to deploy Nexus 1000V into cloud. So go ahead, extend your data center into the public cloud using Nexus 1000V into cloud.